as a cat owner or as a cat lover, you want to communicate with the cat. Where did you pee in this house? Because I can smell it. So tell me where you peed. But obviously your cat does not speak, right? So how do you gauge or how do you estimate what your cat is feeling, whether it wants to interact with you? So in order to do that, you can actually learn your cat's body language. So a cat's body language is actually very telling of what your cat emotion is. And from there, you can then gauge what kind of action you have to take. If your cat is okay with you touching it, if that stray cat is okay with you petting it, and so on and so forth. So firstly, you have to study their posture. So a cat that is anxious, they will actually arch their back and they will lean backward and sometimes you can see that their fur starts to stand so the reason why they do this is because they want to appear as large as possible they want to appear intimidating and they want to appear scary so if the cat is doing that then do not approach the cat because you are going to get into a fight with that cat so a cat that is calm they will just appear with a relaxed and a normal posture and they will tend to walk towards you or lean forward and show interest towards you so that's how you know the cat is calm and ready to be petted so the third one is the cat that is scared a cat that is care it will actually coil its body it will make itself into a ball shape and it will try to hide in a corner or in a small space in a sense it's trying to make itself as small as possible and trying to make itself disappear from your vision so this is the psychology of what the cat is actually thinking so if the cat is doing this if possible you have to leave them alone so they can calm down but if you need to get in contact you can try approaching them slowly or try to lure them with like food or anything that they might like in order to make them open up and not see you as a threat so secondly you can also gauge a cat's body language through their ears. A cat that is aggressive or a cat that is anxious and worried will have their ears pointed backwards. So this usually is accompanied by their vocalizing their disagreement towards you or showing how aggressive they are. But once you see that the ears start to fall back and the cat start to lean backwards, then it's time for you to leave some space between you and the cat. So a cat that is calm will have its ears pointed forward. So this shows that the cat wants to communicate with you. It's very clear that they are okay with being touched, being petted. So thirdly, a cat that has its ear erect, it means they are alert. So alert is a middle ground. It's not a sign of friendliness or it's not a sign of aggressiveness. It's a sign that the cat is still trying to gauge whether or not you is a threat or whether you are a friendly being. So a cat that has its ears erect, you need to approach them with caution. You need to make yourself seem as little as a threat as possible. So with this kind of cat, again, you can try to lure them with snacks or anything to make them know that you are not trying to cause them any harm. So thirdly, you can gauge a cat emotion through their tail. So a cat that is is scared will tuck in their tail so when they tuck in their tail you know that this cat is scared and try to give them space for them to come down first a cat that has its tail erect shows that they are actually comfortable or happy with you so this is common with your cat and you as an owner if you own a cat and it does not show an erect tail when it sees you then you need to reconsider yourself as that cat's owner so another manifestation of a cat's body language through its tail is when you see that the cat's tail is shaking or wagging normally like a dog so in a dog wagging of tail means happiness but in a cat wagging of tail means signs of alert so alert again is it's a middle ground so a cat that is alert is still trying to gauge its surrounding trying to gauge its, its environment as a person have already tried to appear as calm as possible but the cat is still in alert mode try to observe your surrounding maybe something in the surrounding maybe the noise maybe the appearance of certain objects making that cat anxious so removing that object or removing the noise can actually help to make the cat feel more calm and responsive towards you i have read somewhere that cats actually do not need to communicate with each other vocally So they communicate with each other through body language, through releasing of pheromones. So actually the meowing is just for them to communicate with us humans, for them to use to attract our attention. So if you see your cats meowing at you day and night, it means it really really wants your attention. So to conclude this topic, regardless of whether you are a cat owner or cat lover or if, even if you don't like cats, it's very beneficial to actually learn a cat's body language because it's very common for you to see cats everywhere especially in our country you can see stray cats you're gonna see your friend's cat so if you know what their emotions are it will be easier for you to gauge whether or not it's safe for you to touch for you to be friends or for you to interact with the cats like the